Hello everyone, I'm Giuseppe Mamano, welcome back. In this video I'm gonna show you how to paint a realistic art. I have so much fun doing this painting and I'm gonna show you some of my technique. The first part of the video is gonna be in time lapse and I'll show you how I did my first coat. In the second part is gonna be in real time and I'm gonna show you some of my technique and try to explain how I finish the process of this painting. So I hope you enjoy, I'll see you after the intro. First part of this video, it's gonna be in time lapse. On this uh, first coat, I'm trying to focus on put all uh, the color, and I'm changing the tone of the reds. I'm focusing the light on the middle of the art. And focusing on the darkest part, making dark and mixing. The first coat is very important because it kinda give me a guide for the second part when I'm gonna finish the paint with details. Here I'm putting some background that will change and make it darker in the second part of the video. Before I end up this section, I start a little more color on top, more dark, more reds, because the more you work on the first part of the painting, the easier it's gonna be on the second part for the details. Okay, so now that the first coat is done, I'm gonna let it dry all night. I use a liquid original to speed up the drying time of the paint, so tomorrow it'll be ready and we're gonna finish it with some details. This is day two of this amazing painting and my paint is completely dry after 24 hours using liquid original that I mix with my paint. As you see, I change the background and make it darker. Now I start with some details. That's what I do with all my painting. As you do the first coat, try to get the color right and I let it dry and the second time I'll come back and maybe fix some color or something that I think that I don't like and finish my work with details. Now, Another thing that help, the last thing that help is the highlights. And this is the one that you see me paint right now. Now the dark color and the light color on this art make it three dimensional. You see how dark is in the side and the bottom and the light part in the middle. But the details and the Final detail highlights that I'm putting right now, they are the one that complete the painting. Here what I'm doing, as I did before, I make all this little vein. I use first my dark, and now I put on top all my highlights. So I go back and forth sometimes with my dark and my highlights to make it three-dimensional. This painting was a very nice experience for me, painting something completely different. And it teach me a lot. Every painting teaches me something more. I'm not, I'm not one of the painters that they 
focus on painting, landscaping or just portrait. I like to paint everything because uh, I want to see and I got to still find what I love most to paint. It's just four years. I started four years ago painting and I enjoy every moment. And I didn't find yet uh, the thing that I like paint more. I really like paint everything and anything. And I think I have a diversity and paint it just on stick on the landscaping or portrait. I think it gets you better. Now you see that I was, a, I'm still continuing and put some detail. You see that I use a dark color and on top I put my highlights. That's what I just did. I have a brush for my dark and a brush for my highlights. And that's how you get the three-dimensionality on a flat surface. Here is the painting. Looks amazing, very happy. Probably my client are gonna be very happy about this. It was a beautiful experience. All right guys, we are done for today. Thank you for watching. I have a lot of fun, I hope you guys too. Please remember to subscribe my channel for more videos like this. I will see you very soon. Ciao.